You are listening to a recording from the 2021 Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair. We would like to take a moment to thank the residency programs who have taken the time to present at our fair this year. This year's Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by Pumanar Recap, the best resource for your physiatry clinical preparation, audition rotations, board preparation, and beyond. Pumanar Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and even oral board cases. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. All right, so I'll get started. Um, I'm Matt Weinstein. I'm one of the PGY3s at uh, University of South Florida PMNR program. Where, as I said, we're in Florida, we're in Tampa. Um, we're a categorical residency, meaning we have all four years here. So we include the intern year. So just a little background lead on our leadership, our program directors, Dr. McCarthy. Um, she did her residency at Baylor. She's mostly specializes in brain injury. Um, she's been invited to be board examiner, uh, written board, uh, written multiple board questions a lot of years. Um, so that's pretty helpful. Um, she also runs a spasticity clinic at the VA. Um, she runs a concussion clinic as well at USF. So a lot of her, like I said, a lot of her, uh, specialties in traumatic brain injury. Our program coordinator is Sharina Farrington. If you all have any questions regarding the program, like rotations or things like that, you can always reach out to her. Um, her info is also on the website. So these are the clinical sites we rotate, rotate up. We go a little bit more into them uh, uh, later in this PowerPoint, but uh, so there's main fair five, mainly five clinical sites. We got the VA, Tampa General, Moffitt Cancer Center, and then uh, the Morsani Center, and also a uh, sim lab. The good thing about all these places is they're all relatively close um, proximity. Uh, the VA and Moffitt and Morsani are all like, basically right across the street from each other. And then Tampa General is like 20 minutes from the VA. So really not a lot of commuting or long commuting uh, when you're here. This is a breakdown of our four years here. The first year is all at the VA. Um, we do four months of internal medicine wards. Uh, the good thing about our first year is we have a lot of PMNR uh, relevant rotations uh, that help prepare you for years two to four. Uh, we do a month of uh, orthopedics, which is basically an injection clinic, and you get basically all your num all your numbers for blind injections that month, and you come out of it feeling very comfortable, uh, really injecting shoulders, knees, hips. Um, we also do a month of neurology, infectious disease, and rheumatology, which are all obviously relevant to PM&R. Uh, we have a couple PM&R specific rotations on the uh, spinal cord injury vent unit, and then also an intro to PM&R month. And then we also rotate through family medicine and emergency medicine. Uh, PGY2, we do our inpatient at the VA. Uh, which is spinal cord injury. We do traumatic brain injury and polytrauma and then general rehab. Uh, we have a couple procedure months as well during our second year. Uh, we have a dedicated ultrasound guided uh, MSK month, um, which we also do in years three and four. Uh, and then we also do EMG. We do a month at Moffitt our second year as well, either an interventional pain or palliative medicine. Third and fourth year, you start. Uh, we start going to Tampa General a lot more. Uh, we do more inpatient there, uh, see more of the private world. We do pediatrics there, some outpatient stuff, and also consults. Uh, we also go to St. Joseph's for pediatrics. Uh, again, in third year, we go to Moffitt Cancer Center. That's where we do a lot of our pain stuff. And then we also do a uh, neuro-oncological surgery month as well. Um, so yeah, third and fourth year is kind of evenly split between Tampa General, the VA, and Moffitt. And the other perk about our fourth year is we get four months of elective time to kind of uh, choose what we're interested in, help prepare us for whatever we're going into after uh, residency. All right, so I'm. Uh, let me just get sorted out here. Uh, Jonas Santos, one of the PGY4 Academic Chiefs at USF. So I'm going to go over kind of the breakdown of what Matthew just went through. So this is our James Haley VA Hospital. And uh, like much of you know, the VA systems vary from city to city. And 
the thing about our Tampa VA is that it's been consistently ranked a top ranked VA hospital system in the US. Um, it is a national, it is a recognized center for excellence, specifically for TBI polytrauma. It's a 56 bed uh, polytrauma inpatient rehab. And the SCI unit has about 30 beds, uh, including a TED ventilator dependent unit. Um, so unique to this population is uh, along with the veterans, we do take care of the, the active duties. So they come stateside to Walter Reed and they end up at our Center for Excellence uh, for the standard polytrauma type patients. Um, the majority of your second year, your first and second year will be at the VA hospital. So the benefits of this are you are going to get very used to the hospital flow from the medicine standpoint and on to the transition to your rehab specific second year. Um, and uh, much to the location, it is very close to uh, Moffitt Cancer Center, which is the other hospital you'll rotate through throughout your latter part of second year. And let's see here, the hospital itself is actually going under some uh, additional bed towers. So it's approximately a 400, 410 hospital uh, bed hospital, but the, they're gonna be transitioning to a new bed tower, new ICUs, new workrooms for the residents and such. And the previous wards will ultimately turn into more clinics for the subspecialties and such. Uh, we do have all the uh, things like sea mills. We have the aquatic therapy for, um, uh, let's see, do we have the treadmill? I think the tread, underwater treadmill is actually on the next picture. Um, but that's um, clearly, you know, a modality that the patients like using is the uh, aquatic therapy. And uh, Matt, can we go to the next slide, please? This is a look at our, what we call Main Street. So that second floor leads you to the locked uh, polytrauma unit. And on that third floor, what we call the fishbowl is actually where we had our didactics prior to COVID and everything. And just to the right of that is our, um, our rehab three, our general rehab floor. But it's a mix of like the stroke patients there as well. So you can see some of the equipment that we use here. And let's go to the next slide, please, Matt. So Tampa General Hospital, much like most of the other programs, this is our level one trauma center. Um, it's consistently ranked 36 in the US for rehab uh, as of last year. And it's very well known for being a, a cardiac, pulmonary, renal and liver transplant hospital. So not only do we take care of those uh, unfortunate polytraumas, we do get very complex patients from a transplant standpoint. Uh, specifically with the cardiac, we have bad management. Um, but while you are on the inpatient rehab units here, you will have a medicine team following much like the other programs. And, uh, you know, these hospitals are very resident run. So a lot of your colleagues will be just a page away or, you know, on the, um, volt system on phones that we use, uh, for communication. It is a very large hospital. It's about a uh, thousand beds, but, uh, we actually just opened up another ICU, which is another 40 to 50 beds. Um, and we are continuing to transition. It's, you know, right now, some of the beds and for rehab are obviously curtailed due to COVID. We're having a little bit of a spike here in Tampa. So, um, you know, we're just fluid with those things. And um, we do have, we don't have a designated COVID rehab unit at Tampa General. We do have that at the VA, um, but we kind of just have them mixed in right now. And they're not designated by SCI, TBI, polytrauma or general. They're all just kind of lumped into one um, uh, unit there. So another part of this uh, hospital system, it is that it is one of five ABA burn centers in Florida and one of two pediatric burn centers. So from a burn rehab standpoint, our OTs and PTs have been doing this for about 20, 25 years. They're very knowledgeable and they're very open to teaching residents. So, you know, obviously there are very unfortunate cases, but there's a lot of learning, uh, you know, with those burn patients. So you will see quite a bit, especially around the summertime, which is uh, when we have a higher prevalence of those burn patients. Um, the, it is a 59 bed rehab facility. However, as you'll see in the subsequent slides here, we do have a uh, transition into a freestanding rehab building. Uh, Matt, can you go to the next slide, please? This is Moffitt Cancer Center, which is adjacent to the VA hospital. Uh, it's nationally been ranked a top 10 by US News World Report Best Hospitals. It's 206 beds, and your main rotations here are gonna be interventional pain, neuro-oncological surgery, and palliative care. So overall, it's a very procedure, 
heavy rotation that you have at Moffitt. The patients are very complex as well. And since it is a cancer center, we do a lot more than just the bread and butter interventional pain. So this is cancer specific pain with a variety of um, you know, celiac plexus blocks, sympathetic blocks. I mean, uh, on, literally any nerve you have, we, they will find a way <laughs> to block it and ultimately ablate it and such. Um, okay, Matt, can we go to the next slide, please? This is the freestanding TGH rehab hospital. It will be CARF accredited up to 80 beds. It's uh, the outside structure has been erected, but they're working on the inside facility right now. It is projected to be open spring of 2022. And it's maybe about a mile and a half from the main TGH hospital, but there will be shuttles going back and forth. The services will still be able to consult and follow patients there. It, um, it's actually a collaboration with TGH and Kindred, um, if some of you are familiar with that hospital system. And okay, that's all I have. Hey y'all, I'm Matt. I'm also one of the fourth years. So one of our other sites is CAMELS, which is our sim lab. And all the USF programs use this facility. It's a really beautiful state-of-the-art building in downtown Tampa. And we rely on this for our more interventional, more complex procedures and surgeries. For us specifically in PM&R, we typically will tag up with the Pain Medicine Fellowship and we will have cadaver labs where you can really lay your hands on and your eyes on the more complex anatomy. And you'll actually get the opportunity <clears throat> to even practice some of the more technical interventions like kyphoplasty, spinal cord stem, medial branch blocks, and things like that. All right, next slide. So one thing that's really great about our program specifically is we get so much ultrasound experience, particularly with dynamic MSK uh, exams, as well as peripheral joint injections. And when you leave training here, you're gonna have several hundred plus peripheral joint injections. Like Matt said, you're gonna start out intern year, you're gonna do them you know, blind, you're gonna get very proficient with that. And then second, third, fourth year, you're gonna use ultrasound. And the end result is when you leave training, you're gonna have a billable technical interventional skill that when you go out looking for a job, this is gonna separate you from other physicians. And included in these injections, you're actually gonna get quite a lot of experience with platelet-rich plasma injections, which is a state-of-the-art cutting edge biologic treatment that most physicians don't actually get exposure to. So this is a really, I think, dynamic uh, part of our training. Next slide. Okay, and um, as the mats um, have mentioned, uh, there are plenty of opportunities for um, our outpatient patient clinics um, to get exposure with um, joint injections, ultrasound guided injections. Um, specific to traumatic brain injury, we have a concussion clinic. Um, it's mainly seeing like post-concussive syndrome, but we also do see um, acute traumatic brain injuries um, and acute cut concussions. Um, and there'll be opportunities all four years of your residency to um, do these outpatient clinics. Um, we also have uh, nine different um, rehab research labs um, that we've uh, made connections with, and they're all listed below. Um, so there's there's a lot that we can do as far as research and um, outpatient clinics go. All right, everyone. I'm Dr. Or Matt Wilhelm. I'm the third Matt to go around now, um, and I'm the last Matt of the program finally. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some quick details about the pro, uh, about the program itself. The first being the call schedule. Uh, as a first year uh, on your four months of medicine, you'll take a uh, long call every five days. And uh, that's something that is traditional. Again, it's four months of uh, medicine wards while you're an intern here as a categorical. When you move on over to what we call the rehab side of the VA into building 38, you take on average one weekday a month or one weekday per week and one weekend Third year, you're averaging four call days per month, which is about one weekend or three to four weekdays. And as a four, life is great. You're taking one weekday call per month. Uh, and about and five minutes left, just to let you know. How much time? Five minutes. All right, thank you. Uh, so the weekday call is from home. So from 4.30 p.m. to 8 o'clock a.m. Um, as far as didactics, we have protected time each week starting at noon. That runs until 4 p.m. Uh, that's on Thursday afternoons. And we have lecturers from all realms of our uh, program, whether it's at USF, uh, the VA, at Tampa General, or Moffitt. 
Um, we have several lecture series by Bradham and uh, MSK training with some, you guys can read the PowerPoint, obviously, but to hit some other points, we have a lot of in-house uh, professionals who come in and show us the hands-on things. You might have seen a few pictures back of the ultrasound guided experience. That is actually one of our um, past residents, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, he has remained in-house and, and these folks love coming to talk to us about what they do for a living and the tangible skills they can pass on to us. And that leads into our staff. Uh, we have a very, we have a phenomenal staff, especially at the VA. Uh, a lot of folks who come through our program have stayed either at the VA or at USF or at Moffitt, and they return to teach us exactly what they were taught. And it's a, it's a, it's a passing of knowledge, the passing of their love for the field. And as for our fellowships, I think one of our greatest strengths here is our number of fellowships and our intrinsicness of the fellowships. We have four uh, accredited fellowships here, uh, Payne, SCI, TBI, and, and MBT Research as well. And we have fellows in all of those right now, except TBI, I believe. Uh, next slide. And this slide will show where our residents are now. And as you can see, yes, we have uh, a wide variety. It's that simple. A lot of us stay here for our fellowships. A lot of us go away. Um, so you, what you put in is what you're going to get out. If you want to stay with what, with us, you're more than welcome. It's that rather that simple. So um, wide variety, a uh, wide variety of folks that come in, and a lot of variety that goes out. All right. Hi, um, I'm Maggie Zork. I'm a PGY3 in the program. Um, I get the fun slide where I get to talk to you about all the great things about Tampa and why it's awesome. I'm originally from Ohio, so I was in the boat where I wanted to get someplace warm and Tampa totally fits that bill. It's hot here. The winters are wonderful. Um, there's a ton of outdoor activities to do. Um, if you like fishing, paddleboarding, boating, kayaking, biking, um, we have all of that. Uh, the other great thing about Tampa, which in the past couple of years has been awesome, we have professional sports teams um, that are doing fairly well. Uh, the, uh, we have the Bucks, the Lightning, Go Bolts, um, and then the Rays. And then we have other baseball training camps here. So there's really always, you know, games to go and see, um, good social activities to do. Um, about we have two minutes left, guys. Okay. So yeah, Disney World's right down the road. We have lots of beaches really close, like 30 minutes away. Um, the living arrangements here, I do want to touch on that. So uh, the hospital, the VA hospital is located a little bit north. It's about 20 minutes from downtown Tampa. A lot of uh, residents live downtown, but then some also live closer to the VA. Um, so if you have a family, people tend to kind of live more up north where you can get a house. It's close to the VA. Um, you get a little more space, but then there's also downtown. A lot of the more single residents live downtown um, and are close uh, to all the downtown activities. Um, we'll kind of skip ahead and just open it up for questions at this point. So I saw, this is Matt, one of the four tiers. I saw there's a question about foreign uh, IMGs applying and we certainly you know, aren't gonna discriminate against that. We look at all the applicants equally. So we don't you know, show any sort of favoritism in that respect. And I've got really good friends and actually some other programs that one of them uh, is Canadian as well. So we definitely have plenty of those around our program and that's not something that we'd hold against you. And then yes, we have a pretty good hockey team. <laughs> Anyone else have any other questions or anything? Sorry, we didn't leave a ton of time, but we're trying to get it, get through everything. Yeah, and feel free to put your uh, contact information if you like in the chat as well. Um, and folks can reach out to you okay. that way too, if you like. We did have one question about um, work-life balance. Um, we can touch on that really quickly. I know, um, every program is gonna have, especially since we're a categorical, we have um, our intern year here. Um, we're gonna be doing all of um, our awards here. It's only four months of awards, but they are pretty intense, um, 12 hour days. And then um, we kind of touched on call schedule. Um, so I'd say that overall, um, we find a good work-life balance um, and we, we stay busy, but, um, we definitely have time to get to know each other, make friends. Um, and like Maggie said, there's a lot of fun things to do. Um, so I, I would say the work-life balance is perfect here. Um, you learn a lot, Great. you get the education you need and um, yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. And feel free to continue uh, the discussion in the chat if you like. Um, another excellent presentation, really appreciate that.